everybody. So welcome to the first annual Martin Luther King Jr. Family Day hosted by the association. How are you guys doing today? Does anybody know who we're celebrating today? I know I already said it. Okay, I, I think I think I'm hearing Martin Luther King Jr. Right? Right? Okay, just just making sure. Just making sure. Um, to start off, first I'd like to bring up the members of the St. Edith Stein Boy Scouts for the posting of the flag. Nicole Andre for the singing of the American National Anthem.
you, Anaritha. If everybody could remain standing, I would like to now call up the Boy Scouts from the St. Edith's Sign for the reciting of the Pledge of Allegiance. Tony Branch for the invocation. First of all, before we begin the invocation, I would be remiss in my responsibility to see who in this house are true fighters for justice. So if you believe in equality, can you shout equality? I'm sorry, I'm not hearing you. If you believe in equality, shout equality. Equality! If you believe in justice, shout justice. Justice! If you're your brother's keepers, and what this means is you believe that every household in Brockton deserves equality, shout equality again. Equality! If you believe that every household in this city deserves justice, shout justice again. Justice! Now, if you are your brother's keeper, shout, I'm my brother's keeper. Now give yourself a hand clap if you really believe what you just said. Now I'm about to give an invocation, but you gotta understand I'm a Pentecostal preacher. So it doesn't matter what your faith is today because we serve one God. Can you bow your heads please? Lord thy God, you sent your son using the words of the Apostle John. God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son, whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God, we thank you for sending thy servant, Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., sending your servant in the earthly realm in order to serve humankind. We thank you. God, we thank you for committing the life of Dr. King to humankind so that we may know love no matter if we're black or if we're white. God, we celebrate the life of Dr. King today that your spirit be in this place the footstep of righteousness upon all of God's children in this place. Lord, we give you the praise and the honor and the glory forevermore for sending Dr. King to serve thy people. In the name of the Christ that I serve, say amen. amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Branch, for those very inspiring and motivational words. Next up, I'd like to call uh, the pastor and uh, the priest of St. Edith's Sign, uh, Father Irino. Irino, I think I saw him. He might have stepped out. Um, so moving on, um, I'd like to call up Moses Rodriguez to say a few words. Well, I don't know, right after the bishop, it's gonna be kind of hard. No, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. Um, I, first of all, I wanna, from the bottom of my heart, go ahead, you can sit down. From uh, my bo the bottom of my heart, I just wanna thank everybody for coming out today. Because, as we've said so many times, Today is an important day for all of us in this country. Not just in this country, but in the world. But yet, in the city of Brockton, we kind of been slacking off somewhat. I know there's all kinds of activities that go on throughout the weekend, but today is actually the holiday to honor Dr. Martha Luther King. 
And if you go into my office or anywhere where you know me, I have pictures of this man all over the place. And you know why? Because he's the one that exemplifies true sacrifice. Because Dr. King didn't have to do the things that he did. He could have just sit back and do what most of us do on a regular basis. And it's basically not my problem. I have nothing to do with that. It's those people, it's those guys, it's them, it's this, it's that. But you know what? He saw injustice. He saw a need for something in the community. And he got up and did something about it. He did something about it to a point where it cost him his own life. And that's the day that we're celebrating the great man that Dr. King was. And the reason why we decided to do this, and we're gonna do this every year. I don't care if it's just me and Reverend Harris. <laughs> I don't care if it's just me and one other person. But from now on, I promised you that in the city of Brockton, the city of champions, in the city that's probably the most diverse city in this commonwealth, we will celebrate Dr. Martha Luther King Day every year. And I know my colleagues in government will support me on this, so we'll meet up again here next year I'm not sure if it's going to be here, but it's going to be somewhere. If it's in somebody's backyard, somebody's garage, we will celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King in the city. Thank you very much, and enjoy your day. Speaking about government city officials, um, I'd also like to thank take this time to recognize all of those government city officials that are currently here right now. First off, obviously everybody knows Moses Rodriguez, City Council Ward 4. Actually, Ward 4. City Councilor at Large who lives in Ward 4. That was good. Bob Sullivan, Councilor at Large. Mike Brady, State Senator. <laughs> Scott Vecchi, candidate for Plymouth County Sheriff. <laughs> Mark Lindy, Southeastern Regional School Committee. <laughs> Claire Cronin, State Representative. Tom Monahan, City Councilor Ward 2. <laughs> Shirley Azak, City Councilor Ward 7. <laughs> and I believe, did I miss anybody? I believe that. everybody right okay um, next up I'm gonna call up uh, the green school children from the Association to recite some poems about Martin Luther King Jr.
another round of applause for these kids. I mean, really, like, great job. I know you guys have been practicing for a long time, and I know you guys were nervous, but it's not everybody that can get up here and do what you guys did, right? Fair to say, guys, it's not everybody, right? And a fun fact here, just to let you guys know a little bit about Martin Luther King. When he, everybody knows that he's great about his public speaking, right? Yeah. He's known for his public speaking, he's known for moving people with his words, right? How many people are in college? How many people get grades for their classes? So Martin Luther King, right, known for his public speaking, right? Normally, we'd give him an A, right? Did you guys know that Martin Luther King got a C in public speaking in college? Did you guys know that? But I would say in that speech that he gave, that I have a dream speech, I'd give him an A, right? I'd give him an, I'd give him an A plus, right? So let's give a round of applause to Martin Luther King. And back onto the topic of education, right? And back to these kids. Um, so these kids are part of a youth enhancement program over at the association. It's an after school program. And these particular kids, um, they're anywhere from the first grade to the fifth grade. Um, this Cape Verde Association does a great job with their after school program. Um, also in adding a linguistic and cultural component um, with everything that they do. Um, it's filled with activities of recreation, but also educational activities. Um, the kids go there, they're able to do their homework. They have tutoring, arts and crafts, and many, many more. And um, I'm just gonna list a couple of the kids that are over there at the association, including many of these kids that are here. And if I can state the names, and then you guys clap at the end, that'd be great. Um, Ashley Santos, Jalen Gonsalves, Marla Lopes, Naima Cruz, Mayara Cardozo, Ashley Gomes, Isaiah Pires, Anthony Gonsalves, Navea Vega, Michaela Miranda, Aisha Lopes, Wilson Pieda, Wagner Pieda, Ethan Senteo, Kayara Carrero, and Chelsea DePina. And as well, uh, they have you know the programs for the kids that are from one through five. Um, the association also has a youth tutoring center for middle school and high school students. Um, they also they include there besides activities like helping them with their homework. They also help them with college prep um, and college and career readiness. Um, they also do many programs that have to do with leadership, bullying awareness. They do have. Uh, arts and science workshops, um, and various also, uh, activities including SAT prep and help with college uh, essays and such things like that. And right now, I want to call them up to the stage because they also have a few things that they'd like to say about Martin Luther King. I've been, been to, to the mountain top. top. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place, but I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will, and he's allowed me to go to the mountain. People claim. I looked over and I seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know now that we as people will get to the promised land. Dr. The King, King said, I do not fear in men. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Why, Why should we, we fear? fear? We must learn to live together as brothers, or perish together as fools. We have moved into an era where we are called upon to raise certain basic questions about the whole society. We are called still uh, called upon to give the aid to the beggars who find himself in misery and agonies on life's highway. But one day, we must ask the question of whether an edifice which produced beggars 
must not be restructured and refurbished. I don't know what will happen now. We've, we've got some difficult days ahead. Yes. But it really doesn't matter with me now because I've been to the mountaintop. And, and we, we will go, go to, to the, the mountaintop. Mountain so those were the kids, the high school kids from the tutoring center at the association. And did they do a good job or no? I think they, they, that, that was like an okay. Did they do a good job or no? Yeah. So a round of applause for them, guys. So uh, in terms of the kids that are in the middle school and the high school after school program at the association, I just want to take a couple seconds and uh, read off their names that way, every, that way they're recognized. Um, so applause at the end. Uh, Nadia Varela, Jessica Gomes, Jose Fernandez, Josh Spignola, Vandeli Antunes, Cassandra De Rosa, Clayton, Julia Pires, Marcelo Tavares, Valerie Antunes, Ruben, Anthony, Lucas Barboza, Jessly, Harry De Silva, and Hendro De Silva. So at this time, I'm going to call up Pastor Harris, but just a little brief by about Pastor Harris. Um, <laughs> he's getting nervous already. Don't get nervous. I'm not going to read. Just, just to recognize you. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So. <laughs> okay, I'll say just this, right? I love everybody. He loves everybody, right? Come on, can you give the, where, where did she go? Did I run her off? Oh, there she is. Give her a hand, she's doing a wonderful job. Oh, come on, come on, we can do better than that. She's doing a wonderful job. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> wonderful job. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Awesome, awesome. What, Angela? Oh, okay, all right. Well, 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 good to see everyone. Uh, bon tarde. That's right. Did I say it right? All right, all right. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Good to see everyone. Um, before I start, I just want to take this time to thank the K-Bird Association for inviting me to be part of this great, great celebration. I want to thank the leadership cabinet of the K-Bird Association. I need you to give it up for my good friend and brother, Mr. Moses Rodriguez. Can you all give him a hand? <laughs> Woo! Yes, this wonderful association cabinet. Let's give it up for our vice, for our president, President Joe Miranda. Where is Joe? He's coming. All right, all right. Also, Vice President Nick Tavares. Where's Nick? Come on, give it up for Nick, Vice President. My new friend, new brother. Also, Program Manager Monica Tavares. Tavares. Monica, Monica! Yes. And again, we want to thank all the city officials taking time out of their busy schedules to come and be part of this great celebration. Can you give all the city officials a hand? Good to see all of you. Yes, and I just want to thank and praise God that there are some folk from New Life Brockton here and some members from New Life Taunton here. Good to see them. Yes, my, my parents are not here. I thank God for my dad. He's not here. And my mom 
50 years ago, 50 years ago, I, I was born in Memphis, Tennessee, 50 years ago. And 50 years ago, my mom, pregnant with, with me, she heard Dr. Martin Luther King speak. And I would have never thought back then or now that I would one day be honored and privileged to speak on his very day. And so I'm so grateful, humble, and honored to be here to celebrate with you. And now give yourselves a hand for being here today. Also, I, I didn't know if they were going to make it, amen. And, but my, my wife is here, my son and my daughter, they're here. They were out doing what Dr. King would want us to do. This is wonderful gathering, meeting, greeting, fellowshipping. But the part of his dream is also going outside of these four walls to do community service. And so I, I got the phone call that they, they, they made it from Boston. They were out at Pine, Pine Street Inn, amen, doing some community service. So I, wanna, I want you all to uh, celebrate with me, my wife. Wave your hand, baby. Oh, come on, give it up for my baby, baby, baby. My son is here, Orlando Jr. And our daughter Kayla's here. Kayla! Oh, you guys gotta clap better than that for my family. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Okay, moving right along, moving right along. We just thank God for everyone. And uh, that's five minutes of my 20 minutes, so let's move right along, right along, right along. Today, in praying about this event, and what would Dr. King? want us want me to speak about and also want us to do three words three words came to mind and i want you to repeat these words at, oh i can't go any further until we celebrate one of the things i tell the church if we don't celebrate our young people the street corners will celebrate them if we don't celebrate our young people the jail cells and all the other negative enforcers will scoop them up. So I need everyone to just give your best round of applause for all of these. Yes, indeed. We got to believe in and encourage our young people. All right. So I want you to say these three words that came to mind. Amen. When I think about this event and what Dr. King would want us to do from here, I need someone to shout, dream. 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 Shout, develop. Develop. I like this group, this group right here. This is a group. Yes, yes, yes. Now shout, deliver. Deliver. I'm going to talk to you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Say it again. Dream. Dream. Develop. Deliver. Deliver. All right. Those are the three words I want you young people and everyone to keep in mind that Dr. King would want us to do going forward. Amen. We're now, now look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor and just say, neighbor, neighbor. I'm going to dream, I'm going to dream. Like, Dr. like Dr. King. Tell him, I'm going to develop, I'm going to develop. like President Obama. Now tell your neighbor, neighbor, I will deliver. I will deliver and do great things. Come on and give yourselves a hand because you're going to deliver after this. Amen. Listen, a, a quick prayer, a quick prayer, a quick prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for this time of sharing, this time of fellowship. God, we just ask right now, you would continue to help us to dream, help us to develop, and help us to deliver. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 One more time, shout dream. Dream. Shout deliver. Deliver. Shout dream. Dream. Shout develop. Develop. Shout deliver. Deliver. Yes, indeed. Brothers and sisters, we're gathered here today to celebrate and honor one of the greatest African-American heroes that ever lived, Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. 
Now, the truth be told, there's not enough time to talk about all of his awards and all of the wonderful things that he did for equality and solidarity for America and truth of the matter for the entire world. And I often say, because of what Dr. King did, we are here. And because of what Dr. King did, yes, we're here, but we will become better. Somebody shout, we're coming, we're becoming better. Yes, I agree with what Dr. King said. The measure of a man is not where he stands in the moments of comfort, but where he stands in the time of challenge and controversy. And beloved, we are living in some challenging times. But if we continue to do what Dr. King did and dream about it and develop it and deliver it, we will continue being the city of champions that we're called to be. In fact, let the person know who you're sitting next to and look them, smile at them, show your, show your grill, smile at them and shout, you're looking at a champion. They don't believe you, they don't believe you, they don't believe you. I need you to say it like you are a champion. Shout, you're looking at a champion. I love, I love Bill. I love. Yes, we are. We are champions. So my charge today, my charge today in the next 10 minutes, my charge to you is to continue to dream like Dr. King. Continue to develop like President Obama. And continue to deliver because you have all that you need. You have your family, you have your friends, and most importantly, you have God to help you to deliver on your dreams. Now, before we deliver, there's something very important. Somebody shout, hear this part. There's something very important that we must do in order to deliver, to develop, in order to dream, deliver, and develop, develop, dream, develop, and deliver. This is what we must do. We must unfriend and, and delete external and internal dream snatchers. If we're going to truly dream, if we're going to truly develop and deliver, it's very important that all of us in this room unfriend and delete dream snatchers, the external and internal dream snatchers. The dreams, external dream snatchers are the people who say you can't do it, are the people who don't believe in your dreams, are the people that can't see how the dreams are going to come true. The external dream snatchers are the people who will smile in your face but talk about you and speak negative about you behind your back. It's important that we unfriend and delete any external dream snatchers. But also, beloved, we must watch out for the internal dream snatchers. The internal dream snatchers are the small voice within our head that began to speak to us and make us feel like because we failed before, we cannot do well in the present and the future. But I've learned and I tell my children all the time, failure does not mean finish as long as you focus on the Father who gives you favor for your future. Somebody missed what I just said. I think I gotta bring that back. We are in a church, hello, we are in a church. I tell folk all the time that failure is not final, it's not finished, as long as you focus on our Heavenly Father who gives us favor for our future. And so in closing, in these last three minutes, it's important, it's important that we watch out for the dream snatchers. In fact, tell your neighbor one more time, say neighbor, neighbor. watch out, watch out. For, the dream for the dream snatchers. Yes, yes, yes. So what we must do, what we must do, come on, repeat it again, and shout, I must dream. I must dream. Shout, I must develop. I must develop. Shout, I must deliver. Yes, young people, keep your dreams alive. Keep dreaming. Whatever you want to be, whatever you want to do, you can do it. 
keep your dreams alive and then wake up from the dreams and start developing those dreams. Staying in school, listening to your parents, being around positive role models. You can develop your dreams. You can deliver your dreams, young people, by having the mindset, yes I can, yes I can, yes I can, yes I can, yes I will, yes I will, yes I will. Somebody shout, I will deliver. Yes, indeed. In closing, in closing, we as a community, we must deliver. We must deliver city officials because of our present and our future leaders sitting over here. I need somebody to shout, I have to deliver. We must deliver until there's unity in the community. Somebody shout, I have to deliver. We must deliver until we have victory over violence in Brockton. Somebody shout, I have to deliver. We have to deliver until racism is revoked. Somebody shout, I have to deliver. We have to deliver until all of our children are embraced, equipped, empowered, and educated. Somebody shout, I have to deliver. We must deliver so that we can help the homeless. Somebody shout, I have to deliver. We must deliver until, amen, the politicians produce on their promises. Somebody shout, I have to deliver. We must deliver so that the Cape Verdean man, the Haitian man, the black man, the white man, the Protestant man, the Catholic man, the Jews and Gentiles will come together in brotherly love and sisterly love until we one nation under God. Because united we shall stand and divided we shall fall. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty we can deliver and be free. said this is the first annual we will be back here next year and I will be back here next year because <laughs> I'm now an honorary member of the K-Bird Association. <laughs> nice, I believe it. I'd just like to thank all of the sponsors that made this event happen today. Um, Tufts, BCA, Harbor One, NBC at the supermarket. Just thank you guys. Thanks for everybody that came out here representing them. And I'm not gonna go yet because you closed things out. <laughs> but um, if Nick Tavares, right? Nick Tavares would like to say a few words. Thank you. On behalf of the uh, Cape Verdean Association, I wanna thank everyone that participated in this event. Uh, obviously, uh, Cape Verdeans, uh, Cape Verdeans have a significant 
role in Brockton today, uh, both in social life and in the politics of Brockton. We want to thank the, all the representatives and all the city government officials that are here. We want to thank them for taking the time from their busy schedule and uh, be with us today. Uh, I also would like to thank the uh, staff and all those at the Cape Verdean Association that put this event together, particularly Monica Tavares, Maria, because without their great effort, we wouldn't have such a great event with these beautiful children that they prepared. Uh, thank you very much for coming, and we wish you a great Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Thank you.